hockey. Hockey is all about accessories, like taping the top of your stick or taping the knob of your stick, scissors, tape, all that. But um, probably the most important accessory is tape. Tape is what you use to get more grip and feel on the stick and get more puck control. Then I'm going to be teaching you how to tape your, the top of your stick and the knob, the blade and the knob. All right. Most people like starting at the top where that B is. Oh, yeah, and I'm using mini stick because I already taped that and I don't want to tape that again. I, I already taped my game stick. So. so a lot of people like to start right here, but I think it's a waste of tape. So I start right over about here. I'm going to go a little faster so you don't have to wait much. A lot of people like to stop off right there so because they don't want to go through the hassle of putting it all the way over your blade. But I really like doing it with the blade because I feel like it makes my game performance better. So what you do is you take off, you put it, stretch it out like that, like so. And then on, I'm going to stand up for this. You stretch it up like so. And then you take a little gap, take a little gap. And you just make it so it's going to be easy to cut off. Sorry if that was a bad angle. Alright, and then... Then you do the same for the other side. Until you do that. Oh, and by the way, if this happens, it's totally fine. It Because the tape is very... The Howie's tape is very adhesive. And that happens a lot. Well, that happens with any tape. Especially if you're trying to tape your hockey stick. Alright. Once you fix that up, it happens again, of course. Alright. Technical difficulties, as people would say. Alright. Now it's all fixed up, hopefully. Um. Yeah, now it's all fixed up. You want to do the same thing for this. And then that side's all taped up. Now we just need to do this side because there's still that little bit of blade. Alright. See, see how it's like that? You just want to stick that on. So you know where to stop and start. Now I taped it over. You want to cut it off with your nifty scissors or your hands. But for this, you're going to need scissors. Alright. See how it's like this? You have this flap. Just play with it. No, I'm joking. Um. What you do for that is you take the scissors and you just trim it. Like a, just trim it off. Trim it off. My blade fell. Oh my god. Alright. And there you go. I got your blade all done. Okay, but now for the knob of your stick. This one, you won't really need your scissors as much just to cut off the tape. Some people can cut off the tape anyways. All right, here, little tip. 
if there's any of this, take it off. Doesn't really do anything. It's not gonna kill you. Alright. Now for the knob of the stick. Alright. When you have it like this, I like to kind of flip it down, fold it, so I can just take this tape easily. But once you do that and you take it off and you don't want that bump in your stick, just cut it off or tear it. And now you have that nice, nice tape. All right, for the knob. For the knob, put it at the top around about one time. Wrap it around once. And now what you want to do is you want to take it down around town. And this is how much it's going to be for this one. But you just want to twirl it. Twirl it a bunch until it's like a string. Another way you, way you can do it, but it's a lot harder, is use a shoelace if you're really lazy. Well, not lazy if you just want to save money. And not waste tape. Your beautiful tape. Alright, now that you got it like this. You can just twirl it around. You can just wrap it around your stick. Like so. Alright, after it's like that, you can just take the tape and tightly, very tight, just put it around. Another stickage. Alright. Once you tape up the whole stick, just make sure there's no little gaps left. You want to go around that top, that top again, just like Two, three times. I'm gonna do just two. All right. All right. If if you're on a real hockey stick, you can do it a lot farther down. But you can feel that grip. You can try and make it try. Flatten it out with their fingers. Try and get the feel of it. What's it like that? You can see it's very professional looking. And a lot of people don't like the knob at um don't like the knob at the top. But I per I personally like it. And I don't like too much, or else you can't really get the feel of the stick. I feel, and you just grab on the knob instead of the real stick. But you also don't want it to slide off. So what you do is you take this. And you cut it in half. Like, tear it in half. Alright, that, that can't rip. Tore it in half. Alright, once it's torn in half, put that other side off. And then, take this. You want all of this. You just want this. Do this a few times. Do it, see how it's making that little knob at the top? Almost. Almost, just almost. Do this a couple of times until it's nice. Right, 
and I tear it off. And you got that little knob at the top. But it kind of looks kind of foolish, right? So, if it wasn't even, and you want it thicker, use that other half. If you if you have a bunch of tapes, just keep this tape just for it, okay? Now that it's like that, let's wrap this around it. Just like even out your tape. Until you get there at the mark where you left off. Not quite there yet. Not that ripped. So you got this. Okay. And if you don't like the top and you still think it looks a little funky, take this. Just put it around. Makes it look a little bit more. Oh, that stupid stickage thing is here. It's a little bit of a tongue twister. For this, I hate taping it. I hate ripping tape. Alright, guys, you got this left. And it's probably gonna stick up. Like, stick together. Just take it up. Mush it back out. Kinda loosen up the tape. And there you go. You've got yourself a tape job. Doesn't have to look beautiful or anything, but it'll do. There you go. That's how to tape your stick.